you struggle with cravings, you're going to want to pay attention to the following few things. Stop undoing all your hard work that you're putting into your meal prep and shopping and cooking and preparing by succumbing to these cravings. When you look at sugar cravings specifically, it's just your body's way of calling for fast, rapid energy. Because when we go on diets or we restrict ourselves, eventually the brain is going to call for energy. So what can we do during this transition period? How can we make this easier on ourselves so we're not pulling our hair out every time we have an urge to go for some carbs or sugar? The first thing you can start with is glutamine. Powdered glutamine is really easy to find and it's very easy to take because it mixes well in water. When the blood sugar levels drop, glutamine is the most abundant amino acid that floats around in our blood and the brain can actually use it as a fuel. So if you're taking regular amounts of glutamine throughout the day, you can actually ward off sugar cravings in a big way. The second one is chromium. You want to take chromium because it's a trace mineral that helps insulin do its job better and insulin helps us control our blood sugar levels. And as long as the blood sugar stays balanced, you're gonna have less cravings to deal with. And then the last one is N-acetylcysteine. Now this may be one you haven't heard of before, but it is a precursor to the molecule glutathione that I've talked about before, which is a potent antioxidant. And when you look at sugar cravings, and when people eat sugar, it actually lights up an area of the brain similar to what many street drugs do. So the pathways in the brain are very similar when you have these intense urges to reach for sugar. It actually stimulates the same area that a lot of these drugs do. So N-acetylcysteine can actually help with some of these compulsive behaviors and this need to reach for sugar. Um, and it actually helps you cope with and battle these addictions much, much better. So that you can actually get through the transition period of establishing a new diet and eating plan and regimen without having the wheels fall off the bus every time you have a craving. So if you found this helpful or struggle with cravings yourself or know someone that does, please share it with whoever you think would benefit from it. And if you're concerned with any micronutrient deficiencies or you're not sure why you're having these cravings and you just can't seem to kick them, we can actually do tests to see, are you low in chromium? Do you have enough antioxidants and glutathione around to keep these compulsive behaviors at bay? There's some easy tests we can do and I can definitely help you make sure you're dosing all this stuff correctly and finding good, high quality sources. Any questions at all, please let me know and have an awesome night.